I bought hundreds of dollars in packs that could all contain a Charizard. The goal for the day? To pull the fiery beastie. And we're also bringing in the big guns with two monster packs, a Japanese tag team GX pack, which could have the golden Charizard and Rashiram GX, and a heavy base set two pack, which could have the iconic holographic Charizard. We'll open those later. Okay, let's get ripping. And I actually have all the packs in a small trash can next to me. We have our pack. I, I just didn't have anything fun to put it inside of. It'll work. It'll work just fine. The big sets that we're going to be opening today, Hidden Fates, which I am opening right now. Hidden Fates is personally one of my favorite sets ever. It's my favorite sun and moon set, my favorite modern set. And I was able to get actually, oh, nice, Shiny Surviper and Raichu GX, dude. What a freaking first pack. That heavy base set two pack, I actually bought, ooh, Burning Shadows. I bought it in London during Pokemon Worlds. And from the same guy, I actually bought Shiny Charizard from Hidden Fates PSA 10. So I'm actually really excited about that. So as you can tell, Hidden Fates, one of my favorites. And we do, as you saw, have Burning Shadows. We've got Brilliant Stars today. Oh my God, Brilliant Stars, man. We had an absolutely crazy iconic moment <laughs> with Brilliant Stars recently. We're on stage at Gamescom. I pulled this. Nope. We got lucky enough to pull <laughs> the Rainbow Rare Charizard, which is the big hit of the set and, and obviously the one that we'd be looking for today because we are opening until Charizard if we can get it. And then obviously in my hand right now, we've got Burning Shadows today as well. Burning Shadows is just such a great set because you've got the Rainbow Charizard. I mean, it's literally the shiny Charizard that's in Hidden Fates. That's the Charizard in this set, dang it. Oh, and Darkness Ablaze. Darkness Ablaze is like one of those sets to where like, I mean, you'll get the Charizard, you know? I had to make sure to bring in <laughs> some modern and then some like sun and moon modern. Wanted to mix it up a bit, but Darkness Ablaze is probably where it would happen. Another set we have today, Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go is fun because it's got the Radiant Charizard. We can get a shiny with this. And that counts. Gosh darn it, that counts. But can we get the shiny on the first pack? Mewtwo V to start. All right, Pokemon Go. Now, I probably know what you're thinking. Champion's Path. Listen, Champion's Path and I have an immense amount of beef. This was obviously before I was uploading videos onto this channel, but I opened Champion's Path until I got the Master Set. I did that grind. I did it mainly on Twitch, which, oh, as you're gonna see from the pull rates today on Champion's Path, it was painful. We, I spent maybe like, close to $10,000, I think it was, to get the Master Set. It's just the Charizards that took me forever. So hopefully today we don't have that problem. But these are fun sets. These are all very like iconic sets and newer sets as well. And I do wanna do this with Vintage and that will happen. Pinks Pinsir GX. Because the Polling Till Charizard challenge, although it is difficult with the modern stuff, it's definitely possible. And honestly, if all else fails, I have several boxes of XY Evolutions left over from the last video, so we could always just open that <laughs> and guarantee ourselves, we'll pull a Charizard today, it's going to happen. But imagine trying to do that with Vintage, opening Vintage packs until Charizard. That will be a video that we have, hopefully, this month. <laughs> Gyarados GX. You know what, I forget, actually, um, Hidden Fates has the Charizard GX as well. Obviously, the shiny Charizard from Hidden Fates is like the big pull, but it also has that Charizard GX. It could be easier than we think it is. Or harder. God, Burning Shadows is impossible. But it's a good thing we have a mix of all this other stuff. All right, Hidden Fates, I know you want it. Charmeleon, is it a good omen? No. And speaking of these Pokemon Go packs, that Pokemon Go video we did is, I mean, just doing super well. And maybe something we do again in the future. Pokemon Go packs decide our something. Maybe we'll figure it out. Maybe we'll do it. Because I had a lot of fun with that video. And even more with this video. I will say though, this is a Champion's Path pack, by the way. It's good to kind of open up Champion's Path again and look for the Charizards because they're so good in this set. Just obviously really hard to pull. They are the big chase cards, right? Oh, and speaking of hard to pull in new sets, Lost Origins just released and I'm hearing it is a difficult set to get the alternate art cards. Oh, sick, we got a Flareon. That's fun and a Garchomp. Cool. And we'll be doing a challenge, <laughs> God, pretty soon here. It might've actually already happened, but the YouTube video will be up. Basically, I'm buying 500 packs of Lost Origins. And we're gonna open it all and see what we can get. Hopefully better luck than what we're doing now. Come on, Hidden Fates, give us the Zard. Also, I just cannot wait to crack open the Tag Team GX pack and that heavy Base Set 2 pack. Base Set 2 is a set that, I mean, I've opened up a little bit of. I've never done a box break for it, which we might do in the future. And I've, I've never really opened heavy packs for it. So we might get something crazy, absolutely crazy. Today, like a Leaf Gun GX, Full art shiny, oh my god. Obviously that is not the Charizard that 
looking for today, but in the set Hidden Fates, some of the more valuable kind of like sought after pulls are the Eevee Evolutions, including the Shiny Leaf Young GX. That will take. Ooh, we are gonna see some cool pulls today, I hope, man. As long as we get one Zard. Oh, please let it be Champion's Path. That'd be such a fun one. That's the Professor. Wow, we have so much Hidden Fates. I love this. Come on, Hidden Fates, who's your daddy? It's Snorlax, apparently. But I hope you've all been enjoying the Mystic 7 Rips content. We've been doing a lot of pack opening stuff and a lot of very fun videos planned. I have some actually insane ideas no one has done before, Duraludon V. Some wild videos and video ideas that we will have here on the channel, hopefully very soon, definitely within the next month. So if you're not subscribed here on the Mystic 7 Rips channel, make sure to drop that sub. All right, Darkness Ablaze. Come on, man. Suicune. And don't you worry, even if we do end up packing uh, a little Zardski out of any of these packs, we will still be opening up that GX Tag Team pack and the Heavy Base Set pack. Base Set 2. Oh my god, what if we actually get the Zard out of the Base Set 2? You know what's funny? Well, I bought that in London during Pokemon Worlds, and that was the same trip that Leonhardt did his three first edition Base Set pack openings. That was probably one of the craziest things I've ever seen in person, <laughs> because that was like, you know, like a chill, like $30,000, $45,000 in packs just opened up in mere minutes. Minutes. If you haven't seen his video on that, check that out. That was ridiculous. Riolu Shiny. Oh, Giovanni. What a freaking pack, baby. I love Shiny Riolu. And I think that's fun. I think the craziness of these big vintage openings is fun. And me, personally, I'm just addicted to card opening, specifically vintage. And there are definitely... Oh, this is a green code card. We know this will be an L. Here it is, L. Really itching to open more vintage here on the channel and for some cool challenges on the way. Blastoise. Because throughout the history and years of Pokemon Go, I mean, obviously there's been amazing cards and everyone talks about Charizard and that's what today's about. A little bit, you know, overhyped, I think. For good reason, though. Look at this beast. But there's been a lot of really cool Charizards that have been printed and released in past sets. And actually, it's on that topic, let me know in the comments, what is your favorite Charizard card that has ever ever been printed. For me personally, it's gonna have to be the Shining Charizard or the Sky Ridge Gold Star Charizard. That one is just gorgeous, but I have a really, really cool first edition Shining Charizard. Neo Destiny is just my favorite set ever. And there's something about that Charizard. It's the first ever Shiny Charizard printed. He's like flying away all incognito and just dipping. It's, I don't know, it's such a cool one. That would be my favorite, personally. Champion's Path giving us hell. How is Darkness of Blaze doing today? Again, I fully expect Darkness of Blaze. It's a green code card. I gotta stop doing that. And the L. What? It's a hollow. Okay, maybe we shouldn't judge a book by its cover or a code card by its color. Come on, Darkness Ablaze. Oh, yes! Pierce Full Art! Sick! Ah, oh, and Hidden Face, dude. Sun and Moon era is probably my favorite era that's like a non-vintage. One day it'll be vintage. When our kids, you watching this, not our kids, like we're having, you know, you know what I'm saying? When our kids are opening packs, dude, Hidden Fates will be considered vintage. Which is sort of crazy to think about and sort of crazy to like, you know, it's just like nuts to open these cards. But Sun and Moon era sets, man, I mean, they're just undefeated. I should have gotten more for the video today, but we don't need it because Shiny Lucario! I was going to say because Charizard, wait, look at this! We got him, we got them both! Riolu and Lucario Shiny. Look at that. Mystic Seven, bringing the families together. Okay. We're actually coming down to the wire here inside of the um, <laughs> the Charizard trash can. Uh, <laughs> there's not many packs left down there, dude. I'm actually surprised that, at how difficult this has been to try to find this Charizard. Now granted, this is like the chase Pokemon of the franchise, but like, I just kind of felt the luck today, you know? Unless now. Also, we're opening sets like Burning Shadows, which have like a freaking 0% pull rate, so I guess it's just my fault. This is the pack that proves them all wrong. Just kidding. Oh my god, how many... Is there only Burning Shadows left? We had multiple sets today. It was Burning Shadows, Hidden Fades, Brilliant Stars, Darkness Blaze, Champion's Path, Pokemon Go. I actually want to... I need to find more Pokemon Go packs because Radiant Charizard's so sick. Okay, I'm cheating. I'm digging around in it. Got a Pokemon Go pack. All right, I think this is actually the last Pokemon Go. I didn't get that many. Really regret it. Should have done more Pokemon. I mean, I'm literally, you know, I am I am Pokemon Go. Come on, Radiant Zard. It would have been there. Oh, okay, slacking. Not, a, you know, something. All right, now we're, oh, Darkness of Blaze, yes. We we might actually have to break into the, the freaking XY Evolutions, man. That wasn't for this video. Come on. I actually won't be mad though. XY Evolutions is a fun set to open up. I mean, we're literally doing base set. Base set is like XY Evolutions, but like, you know, it's like it's grandpa or like older uncle, one of the two. Yeah, Gardevoir V. Well, there's a hit. I think I bought Wade packs. 
You can't weigh these packs. It's not possible. <laughs> Darkness ablaze! Darkness ablaze! We can. You know, we haven't really seen many big hits from Brilliant. This is a Brilliant Stars pack right here. Not many Brilliant Stars hits today. Brilliant Stars, I really like that set. There's a lot of cool cards in there, including the one and only... Raichu V. Well, that's not what we were looking for, yeah? But is this what we're Lucario? Not what we're looking for, not. Okay, what is... Oh, here we go. Burning Shadows. Nice. Well, we'll say, speaking of busting an obscene amount of packs and not getting a lot of things, we're opening... <laughs> we're opening up packs again on Twitch, which has actually been super fun. It, it's like September for Twitch, which basically means, like, on the site, like, all subs are 20% off. So every five subs we get, we just bust open a random TCG pack. So we've been ripping there, too. <sighs> Dang it. Oh, my God. Look at the pack cam. Dude, we've got, there's three packs left, man. We've ripped them all. Okay, I, I, I think in one of these three packs, we get something. And we will open up that GX, that Japanese tag team GX pack after these three. And then we still have that heavy base set too, man. Okay, now we've got a Champion's Path. Champion's Path was probably the, the last set that I expected to pull really anything out of. Case in point, champ, <laughs> my champion's path. And the last pack, it's champion's path. <laughs> oh my God, we really just opened everything in the box. We really just cleared the box out or the, the trash can. You know, I was gonna go on Etsy and buy like a cool little fiery box. Couldn't get it here in time, like and rock. Oh no. Well, it looks like it's time for one of the heavy hitters of the day, the Japanese tag team. GX pack. These are expensive. They're hard to find. I actually bought this at Pokemon Worlds as well, uh, which was a really, really cool grab. I was actually excited to find this. So let's let's bust this. I, I don't know the card trick, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go straight into it. All right, we got a little Pidgey, okay? Sneasel, Magnum Dun, a Red Ball. Oh, a tag a trainer tag team card. This is surely this isn't the rare, right? It might be. Uh Paris. A reverse hollow marsh tomp. I think the next one would be the rare. No, it's not. It's the next one after this. It's gonna be. Oh my god, Rayquaza GX. Dude, let's go. Oh, there's a. Oh, energy card. Oh, there's there's more. There's so much more in here. Dude, Rayquaza GX. Oh, this is so sick. Obviously, this isn't the Charizard uh, or the Charizard Reshram, but still such a cool pull. Oh god, I, I love personally Rayquaza, one of my favorites. And I know this is a good hit uh, in this set. Oh, that's fire, but not what we're looking for. Oh, would you look at that? There's something else inside the trash can. It's an entire open box of XY evolutions. This video is getting really expensive. Well, a deal's a deal. Open till Charizard. Technically, we could app, nah, there's the code card. Well, we could still get a Charizard from the reverse. We still have that, uh, that base set two pack and that could absolutely have a Charizard. I actually know it has a Charizard because I'm psychic, which is why I bought all of those packs that didn't have a Charizard in it. Proof of my psychic nature. But XY Evolutions is physically impossible. Pidgeot EX. Oh, cool, look at this big booty. It's literally impossible to not pull a Charizard out of this set. So, like, if anyone was ever worried at any point in human history, it wasn't me and it wasn't now. Come on, de- Oh! oh no, you- you- you! That is the biggest tease that has ever happened in the TCG world. Base set Arcanine. All righty, we've got Diglett. Yes, and there it is. Oh, the camera's not focused. It's back. Wow, we got the Charizard and Hollow right after the tease of the Arcanine, by the way. All it took was like six different sets and like a, a ton of packs, but we got the Zard. Oh, dude, that's incredible. Wow, hey, maybe, maybe this is a good omen for the base set two heavy pack, which is up now. Okay, I'm a little, I'm honestly a little nervous to open this, dude, because you, you know why? I trust the guy that I bought this from, but he easily could have just scammed me, right, with a, with this pack and then left London and never came back. And I don't have his name or info or nothing. So unless that's, that's him right here. Now, what a heavy pack means is that there's a guaranteed holographic inside. There is a holo card in this pack. What is the card trick? Let me not mess this up. Okay, it should be three. It should be three. We got it, we're good. All right, here we go. The heavy base set two pack. This has, obviously this is like the reprint of base set. The OG, oh my God, vintage is so good. The OG set, so this has the Charizard, and so many other possibly amazing pulls in it. I'm actually really hyped, dude. I've never opened a base set two heavy pack before. Okay, let's pull these out nice and careful. Base set two, baby. Oh man, it's good to be back in vintage. We're gonna go three to the front, because that's what the card trick should be. Imagine we flip it over and it's holographic. I would actually throw up. 
Well, deal's a deal. No way! All right, what well, they do? This is a hollow die entails. Okay, well, I guess that's the most efficient way to open up a pack. Oh my god! Imagine that was Charizard. That would have been so funny. Well, wait, what else did we? What did we got? Dugong. We got Growlithe. I hate myself. I hate myself. Execute. Meowth. Okay, it was a very unexciting pack other than the Ninetales. Thank God for that. But there we go! Dude, base set two, holographic Ninetales. That's worth some money. That's a good one. Oh, I'm so annoyed at myself right now. That's actually hilarious. Let's sleeve this thing up real quick. Beautiful. Base set two Ninetales. Let me look at this. I mean, it looks good. Hollow foil looks good. Centering looks good. How does the back of the card look? Let's see. A little white in the bottom left, but other than that, I mean, this card looks. This is a really, really good quality Nine Tails, dude. This could be. This could be something. And here they are, the big three pulls of the day: the holographic Charizard from XY Evolutions, a hollow Nine Tails from Base Set Two, and that Rayquaza GX from GX Tag Team. Absolute W. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe for more content coming soon. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.